Guys, something we have to deal with, especially if we haven't been active in a long time, if we're older, a lot of us are going to be suffering from injuries, old injuries, new injuries, injuries that we're having now because, you know, of lack of activity, lack of health. Um, but we're all going to be dealing with some sort of injury or slight setback or major setback even. I, I'm not going to get into major injuries because I find when people have major injuries, they actually become more capable because they realize they have to overcome an injury. I've yet to see a guy with only one leg that isn't getting a lot of shit done because he has to get a lot of shit done because he only has one leg. It's the guy that has a bad knee, the guy that has a sore ankle. Those are the guys that are letting that injury prevent them from doing what needs to be done. It's almost like it's an excuse that's allowable to have. Now, I don't want to dismiss an injury. I don't want to dismiss pain because it's there for a reason, but it doesn't have to stop us. We have to work around it. We have to figure out what it is. But I'll tell you right now, a lot of the suffering that a lot of guys that are in their 40s and 50s and 60s are going through right now, it's because they're 40 pounds overweight. So their backs are jacked. It's because they're 40 pounds overweight that their knees are bugging them, right? It's because they're 40 pounds overweight that their heart rate is through the roof, let alone just trying to go up a set of stairs or mow the lawn. A lot of these injuries that we're dealing with are self-inflicted. They're lifestyle oriented. At 52 years old, my elbow bugs me sometimes. My knee bugs me sometimes. My shoulder bugs me sometimes. But you know what? In the shape I'm in now, it bugs me a lot less and it bugs me for different reasons. My wrist is bugging me right now because we just finished four weeks of probably the toughest training I've ever done. But when that wrist bugs me, it's a reminder. It's because I've been busting my ass and I'm just going to tape it up a little bit. I'm just going to wrap it up a little bit. I'm doing a deload week. It's going to heal. I'm going to do the things I need to, to take care of that. So now it's a badge of honor, but using the excuse of injuries is just an excuse. There's a way around it. I had one client I was dealing with and stuff that in one sentence, he told me that he couldn't walk because his knee was really bad. And then he showed me his weight on the scale and he'd gained 10 pounds. You know what I said to him? I said, your knee didn't fucking stop you from going to the fridge 20 times though, did it? And there was a long pause because I, he knew I was right. Because the same mechanism to walk for exercise is the same mechanism he used to go to the fridge. He could have biked. He could have done some upper body stuff. He could have just ate better. So he lose some weight to take some of the pressure off the knee. That knee excuse was just a fucking excuse. We make excuses all the time, give ourselves an out. We need to stop doing that. We need to rise up, rise above. We need to challenge ourselves. And if you truly have an injury, accept it. Work with it, work around it. There's people that suffer much more bigger issues than you do. They get a lot more fucking shit done because their mind is stronger because they truly don't want to be limited by that injury that you're dealing with. But right now, guys, we're in a position where we're broken. We're in a position where we're sad. We're in a position where we're tired. So those injuries seem a lot worse than they are. And it feels like just another layer of shit against us not to take the steps we need to do. But like I talked about in the, in the other video, choose your hard, choose your hard, work around that injury. I'm telling you right now, if you lose 30, 40 pounds, your back will feel better than it's ever felt. Your blood sugar levels will be better than they've ever been. Your cholesterol issues will be better. In fact, most times when you drop to 20, 30 pounds and you're doing it through exercise and eating well, type two diabetes disappears in 30 to 60 days. Cholesterol disappears in 30 to 60 days. I'm not making this shit up. This is what I've seen over and over and over again with clients. This is what happens in the real world. Most of these things are lifestyle caused. You eat too much shit, you don't do enough activity, those are the problems you're gonna run into. Stop thinking about the immediate satisfaction, put off those things, suffer a little bit, but get beyond it, get past the injury. When you start to ca catch yourself using an excuse like an injury, ask yourself, does it truly hurt? Or is it just annoying? Or is it an excuse? If it truly hurts, Take steps, go to physio, go to Cairo, go to, go to an Oscar, whatever it takes, wear a brace, figure that shit out, take action on it, but stop letting injuries be your excuse.